Hello my Jurassic Jumpers, it's your boy Zionic Blader, and today I will be ranking each Trox core released in Bakugan Armored Alliance from worst to best. We will be basing this list off the Bakugan's base stats and effects, their evolutions, and their use in decks. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 6, Aurelis Trox. This Bakugan is the prime example of how Aurelis has fallen in Bakugan Armored Alliance. The Battle Planet version of Aurelis Trox was the best Trox core in Year 1, but its Year 2 counterpart is one of the worst. It is a vanilla with mediocre stats and a core lineup that doesn't help it. You could core swap for a Fire Fist to hit 11 damage, but with it not really giving anything in return, the trade isn't worth it. Number 5, Darkest Trox. This Bakugan reminds me of something we would have seen back in the Battle Planet format. Unfortunately, this came out in the Armored Alliance format. The 700B power is just a bit under the 800 we want to see, which is disappointing, and the cores it brings does not help it much. Number 4, Chaos Trox. Chaos Trox is pretty much a stat swap of Darkest Trox, with it having a stat line of 307. It is like a cruel joke that the core lineup for this damage heavy Bakugan is focused on B power, while the Darkest Trox, which is more B power focused, has a damage core lineup. You can core swap to get over 10 damage, but Chaos has some better options for damage like Chaos Halcore and Dragonoid Core. Number 3. Aquas Trox. While the stats may not be as beefy as the last two Bakugan, the inclusion of two Helix cores elevates this Bakugan much higher as not only can it hit for 10 damage with its own core, but also spares a Helix core as well. Number 2, Ventus Trox. Now Ventus Trox's base form isn't anything special, and the Diamond Evolution is your run of the mill Diamond Evolution, but where it gets solid is with its 3 cost Hyper Evolution that has a stat line of 805 and the Trifecta effect of gaining 400 B power if your Bakugan have 3 or more cores attached to them. Making this Bakugan after landing on the plus 650 magic shield core, 1750 B power which is pretty solid for a 3 cost evolution back when this first released. Unfortunately, Ventus is just way too stacked with strong Bakugan in base form as well as Ventus Dragonoid having a similar trifecta effect but doing it better. I would make this third place and put Aquas Trox ahead, but Aquas is also stacked with Aquas Hydrus, so it's pretty close. Number 1, Pyrus Trox Core. This Bakugan was actually pretty popular early in release with its base 10 damage reaching 13 when on the plus 3 Greenfist Core which is great. While Darkus has now taken over for highest damage wins plays because of Bakugan like Darkus Cycloid and Rairazu, Pyrus Trox is still formidable, and if you can fit its 5 cost Titan Evolution, you're looking at 20 damage which is bonkers. Overall, I feel like the Trox core lineup is a bit weaker in the Armored Alliance format compared to how the Battle Planet line was during its format, but Pyrus Trox core was able to make an impact in tournaments early on, therefore Pyrus Trox core is the best Trox core in Armored Alliance. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best video on Trox Core. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to let me know your favorite Trox Core from Bakugan Armored Alliance. And if you like this video, hit the like button or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!